In this video, I'm going to show you how to download files in OneDrive using Microsoft Graph API in Python. All right, so here in my OneDrive folder, I'm going to use this uh, PowerPoint file as demonstration. And here, uh, let me open my Python script. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is I want to grab the files ID. And I'm going to do everything uh, a little bit more manually, uh, just because I want to show you the process. From the URL, I want to grab this uh, IES ID, and that's going to be the files ID. I'm going to create a variable to store uh, the ID. Right, so let me do this. I'm going to uh, import the libraries first. I'm going to import the OS module. And to make an API call, I'm going to import the requests library. And from MS Graph module, I'm going to import the generate access token function, as well as the graph API endpoint variable. Now to grab my app ID and the scopes that I'll be using uh, for this exercise. All right, so for the scopes, I'm going to uh, use files that read scope. I'm going to create another variable called save location. And it's going to be the folder where I'm going to save the files. All right, so I want to uh, change file ID to file IDs. And I'll make this a list. And just because we can download multiple files. Now I want to generate my access token. And I'm going to insert the generate access token function. And I'll insert the app ID and the scopes. Then I'll create my headers. And it's going to be authorization. And for the value, it's going to be bill space, pass the access token. Oh, so one more thing. Uh, you can download the MS Graph module from the link in the description below. And this is a utility module that I wrote uh, to simplify the access token creation. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is I want to grab the file name. Get the file name. And I'll name the output as response file info. Uh, is that right? Actually, let's do this. I'm going to uh, array the file IDs list. I'm going to say for file in file IDs. Actually, uh, this is going to be file ID. And here I want to make a request code to get the files information. So from requests that gets, I want to uh, insert the graph API endpoint plus the query path. And it's going to be me slash drive slash items slash. Then we're going to insert the file ID. Then I'm going to assign the headers. And I don't want to return all the fields. I just want to return the file name. So from the params uh, field, I'm going to uh, specify the fields I want to return using the select uh, parameter. And the field name is going to be name. Now here I want to grab just the file name, file response file info object dot get actually this should be a uh, json dot get and I want to get the file name now this is going to be step two downloading OneDrive actually uh, OneDrive file again it's going to another get request so from requests dot get I'm going to insert graph API endpoint and for the query file path, it's going to be me slash drive slash items followed by the file ID. So 
slash content. Then I'm going to assign the headers. And I'll name the output response file content. And once uh, this statement is executed, the response file content is going to contain the byte strings that are made out of the file. Then we can save the file to our local drive. So I'm going to combine the save location and the file name. And it's going to be write as binary. And I'll name the context manager underscore F. Then I'll create the file. And this will be response file content dot content. All right, so that's going to be the entire script. And it's only uh, 28 lines of code, which is not that many. All right, so if I run the script, and here I might have a typo. Yep, right here. Oh, so here I forgot the uh, comma. All right, so if I run the script, and I need to uh, authenticate my account. All right, so if I go back to my script, And, oh, so here I have a typo. This should be a uh, file name. Now let me try again. Uh, because my token is already saved as a JSON file, when I authenticated my account. So I can rerun the script. And here the script finished in 4.2 seconds. And here's my PowerPoint file. And let me open the file for you. And here it is. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.